Good to be live on um, YouTube for the first time. Definitely a, a monumental kickoff. A slow start, but come on, let's go live on Facebook too. Morning. Shaking a little bit. Okay, it's Wednesday. I'm going to get the day right. <clears throat> Got a, a new paintbrush today. Not a new. Not official. As far as, you know, something most artiste would use, but I just feel like it. Go through the broad stroke a little bit. So, hey, I hope you're doing good. And um, are you getting ready for Mother's Day? Are you the code for? Did you send your mom a card, or did you make one, or did you plan something for her? Kind of get some mixed thoughts about holidays like that or designated days. People just made up excuses <laughs> that I didn't like them when I kind of failed to, uh, you know, to get something done or, you know, make something. My wife is incredible and she has. She is definitely worth talking to. That's even a proper way to say that, but she is incredible. Hey, today we're painting. This is uh, India. Uh, my dear friends in Punjab, I'm thinking about you today. I'm thinking about y'all morning. Kind of got a few different paintings around me today. A lot on me. I mean, a lot of beautiful um things on my heart today meaning a lot of people you know i'm just thinking about a lot of people thinking about my mom uh, for sunday i'm thinking about my wife i'm thinking about the women who are mothers in my life and our lives that are beautiful and that we've had such a honor to get to know and hang out with and and see them You know, the world doesn't do justice to what a mother is, you know, by definition, I don't think. There's, because there's so much of that, I like that word, you know, intrinsic, you know, cool word. It's that unseen value, it's that, you know, it's that mystical value that we know, we just don't know how to measure. Maybe you have a different definition, but that's cool. Let me use my, my new paintbrush here. It's not really so new. I've used it before, but this one itself is That's the way I feel about the love of the people in India. It's like, it's like a paintbrush, you know? It's like, they just come and they just paint you with love. In my experience. Yeah. Hey, let's get paintings of love today. Yeah. 
15. Who can try and love you that you haven't loved? I love me that I haven't let them love me. Mm-hmm. This is a little closer to me. Right there. Something awesome today. Reminded me a lot of things. Some of those, some of those words that I read were all things in, through, and to. my mom. I thought about our moms. I thought about my wife. I like to think about this being made in God, God's image and, and then the complexity and simplicity of, of the Trinity. Makes me think about the Trinity and how that relationship kind of echoes those principles. Relationship with God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. that true with her? Well, I can see it. I can see a similarity in my own with the creation of my life and my own living in our lives. All things from him and from the lie of him. And when all things come from our bombs and our women in our lives. And those things, those people, those created items, kind of move in and through those in our lives. 
primarily because they allow it, right? Primarily because they call it and they invite um, people. They invite their loved ones. It is their it is their motherly nature to, um, as they birth things, create things, is for them to be a conduit uh, to all things that are around them. For them to allow things to move, to not be stuck with them as as they're given to them. The people, personalities, situations, uh, assets, doesn't matter. They're, they just, they're, they're, they are built for mothers and women. Um, females are built to be conduits. You know, they, they really are. They really pass. It's a beautiful thing. So, they're built to create things. So, all things from them. And they're built to be a conduit to all things. So, all things through them. And we love to give things to them. Don't we? Don't you love to give things to your mom and to the, the motherly uh, nature of the people that you know? Man, that may even be a man. I don't, I don't know. We're kind of talking about moms because it's uh, mothership. And that's what kind of rang in my heart was just how to connect. If, if we are made in, in his image, um, if we are his creation, and all things that have been made are made from him, for him, through him, and to him, how is that also true for the mothers and the females in our life? Yeah. And why else are we talking about it? Well, because it's on my heart, and because the women that are in my life and that are in our family's life, I like to love them. Don't you? And so part of loving the women and uh mothers in our life, part of that is calling out the awesomeness about them. And to call out the awesomeness about them, the place to start is what God says about himself as he made them in his image. So if you don't know what anything's going to say about your mom, you ask him to tell you. Good thing. You're kind of telling me some things. You know, three things to look at. How well they steward all that, all that attention, all that responsibility, all that giftedness. How well they steward it. And how they teach us as children and as husbands and as brothers and uncles and everything else and also to steward our gifts I love the, what God has created in women it's just awesome man I love it it's unique and um, I get to it's like the part of me that really I think that um, all my desires um, are met through, through my beautiful wife, you know, and he, knew, and he knows that. And I'm not talking about like worldly desires, I'm not talking about like the desire that he put inside of me to fulfill through special women 
in your life and or in a healthy way just beautiful mothers beautiful so that's how you see them Think about this. I mean, this is this is really the, the, the thing in a nutshell. Hey, it's a Mother's Day. It's coming up, and it's like, how can we edify them and love them and encourage them in the way that they have us all along? And a good place to start with that is to ask God how He sees them. God, how do you see my mom? How, how do you see my wife? How do you how do you, how do you see them? Show me. You ever ask God to show you how he sees someone? Well, hang on. Because when you do, he will. And when he does, it's pretty awesome. It's definitely not a bunch of garbage that he shows you. That's for sure. If you ask God to show you how he sees someone and you see garbage... So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm, you know, I'm asking God to show me, hey, how do you see um, the women in my life and moms in my life that I can um, call that beautiful thing out in them more? And he's like, well, how about starting with one, two, Oh, yeah. See him in all creation. I've been having these squirrels chase me around my house lately, and these birds, and all kinds of wildlife and things. It's fun, isn't it? What? I mean, like, literally, like, I mean, I, I, they, I look out and they'll be like, I mean, I could probably walk out right now up there and there's, and there's a few of them out there, hummingbirds or something that are just, I go out there and they're just hanging out. What was that movie where that guy, Eddie Murphy, was talking about all those birds? And... So, yeah. It's time to show you. Show you how, how he sees creation. I'll show you how he sees creation. When he does, it's a break for me. And when he does show you what he thinks about your mom or your wife or your grandma, your sister, like just chill for a minute and, and take it in because. I promise you what he started to show you is not what he's going to finish with. They probably, you know, there's a good chance that if you're paying attention long enough, he's got a whole lot of things to show you about those people, about his creation also. And maybe when you 
start when we start to believe and see how God sees the people that we love, it'll start to open up our hearts to receive how he sees us. Come on, man. That is the real deal. We start having a revelation of the way God sees you. Hang on. Because it's going to change everything that you do. Well, I don't, I don't know if I want that. Okay. If I'm like nervous about it, what if I like who I am and, and, who, and the things I do and everything? Well, good. Why not? Seek some affirmation from your creator about that. Why not have that discussion with him? Start right there with that discussion, with that statement. Hey, I, I'm real interested to see how you see me, but I like who I am. And what if that liking that you have is his, and he's sharing it with you, and he likes it too? Isn't that kind of crazy? I hope so. Oh, okay. Can't buy a discussion with God. What is going on in this part of this painting? But man, something is breaking. I like that sometimes, you know? Just getting caught. Like having people on your heart, you know, that you, you can't get them off your heart. Well, don't get them off your heart. Start another discussion. Hey, God, why is this? Why are these people on my heart? They're really not even good people, according to me. Like exactly, I'll put them on your heart. I'm gonna show you how I see them. And not how you see them all the time. You need to come off of that and start loving them. So I'm going to show you how I see them. That's why I have them on your heart. Because <laughs> I want to show you something awesome about those people that you don't like that I love. You see, so many times, and I'm going to end here in a minute, but I just felt this really to share with you. So many times, we have people on our heart and rather than to push into seeing what God says about them and or wants to tell you about them we completely retreat to the easy um, judgment in our heart in our memory in our thought of that person and and then and camp out in that place and and so then we have bad thoughts and we're like I just can't get that person off my mind I wish I could get them off my mind and it's like no they were never meant to be off your mind they, they were actually supposed to be on your mind so that you could ask God what he said thinks about them or what he's thinking or saying about them or what or, or what's going on with them with his creation he wants to like break you free of that judgment that you're carrying in your heart so that he can show you something super cool about someone like your mom yeah hey God show me how in the world my mom who I struggle to get along with or I don't know how to engage with or I haven't seen in 15 years show me how you see her so that um, I can be set free of judgment in my heart serious for you. You can just ask God. You're still not to get it. I'm not saying that silly. I'm being serious. Some days are donut days. Yeah. 
I want to see if there's a chance or, you know, whatever. Like, that's about all I can handle. That's where you want to start. In the conversation. What's your favorite golf shop? You know? Let's see. I think it should show you how he sees you. And then the things that you'd like to do. It feels super awesome. So, hey, I've gone over time. Thank you for today. Love you guys. Um, hey, keep India on your heart today. As it comes up, know it's there for a reason. Or if your mom comes up, know she's there for a reason. Or someone, even whether you like them or you don't, you know. Just talk to him about it, you know. Stimulate that um, the discussion. It's it's available for you. Yeah. And he knows all things. Hey, bless you. See you tomorrow at 10 a.m.